crow's eyes as I said sees into all the worlds. In speaking with different people, I've become more and more convinced in a kind of metaphysical reality. I don't think that anyone has anything near a monopoly on what that reality is or a relationship to it, but I think there's definitely more than meets the eye. I think there are uh, beings of various dispositions within and beyond human, ordinary human perception. Uh, I don't think that anyone necessarily are necessarily destructive any more than all of nature is possessed, as it should be, of an inexhaustible astronomical integration of destructive and creative energies that provide for the transformation and continuity of a fullness of life and a fullness of growth in terms of our own bodies and souls that is within and beyond all bounds, but peculiar to occupying a physical body, blissful as other realms may likely be. You're good? I've only ever kind of brushed the surface of those other worlds or their tangents into this one. I know uh, people who definitely work a lot more concertedly to contact these realms. And I suppose it, it need be said that the more people attempt Given where we're at, I suppose, in our culture, and we should not assume that this is the only way people have lived or the only breadth of imagination we've ever possessed, that when people do become ambitious about embracing other worlds or more of this world than is commonly meets the eye, and let's face it, I mean, a lot of human perception is restricted or segmented or compartmentalized heavily influenced by forces, self-inflicted our susceptibility likely is, um, that arbitrate for what we know and think and how we behave, more so than most individuals have occasion to notice even when prompted to do so, as no little effect of the kind of influence that we've allowed ourselves to become susceptible to. So it need be said that the more ambitious one becomes about expanding perception, if it could be called that way, or just entertaining different, if imaginary, concepts of nature and its magical being and beings that human beings then encounter and can become uh, unaccountably... What's the word? Let's say the impurities in the mind can become to the forefront so it's, it's a realm as enchanting from our perspective as it, it can be damning as far as human behavior. You give any one of us more bliss, more access to some of the energies around us, and while I wouldn't uh, preclude someone from any of the benefits that they offer, nor should it be assumed, as with the taking of recreational drugs, or any drugs for that matter, that any given individual is going to benefit more than not from them given the state that we're in, the changes of degeneration of the human body and mind, even in the last 50 to 100 years. It's not to prohibit looking into these things. I think it's just a reasonable amount of caution. I'm certainly interested. Um, not much more than to supposed to talk about it. I've always been enchanted. And uh, uh, by more detailed forms of sentient engineering to the clouds and mountains and pebbles and streams and flowers and blossoms and snowflakes of our ordinary or quotidian existence. So hopefully I'll have time or have occasion to, to comment on this a bit more, speculate. Uh, my poetry has always been filled with an enchanting illusions and so forth and you know I might, we all have to grow and if there's there's uh, any opportunity should come across come across my path to make a little more contact with the magical realms around us, then I'd be quite happy to do so. And as long as I can resolve them to my 
other interest in the proportional development and restoration of my own mind, um, let alone that of anyone else's. So thanks for listening. But he's just taken a bath. <laughs> we started with Crow, and uh, I think there's man laws, religions, of course, make all kinds of prohibitions and all kinds of things to get into some heaven or to avoid some hell. Flat Earth is no different. Um, and then there's the actual laws of the universe. And I maintain as a neo-agnostic that it's really up to people to decide for themselves whatever your other beliefs you may have. And if we pay attention to one another, we will notice, I need to notice any discrepancies between what people say and how they behave. Because it may be of interest to us, it may be a fraction upon ourselves, it may stimulate uh, resolving us to our own thought and not taking anyone as an authority on anything. Maybe confusion is just the natural part of, of human life, but uh, I don't think anyone has a monopoly on knowledge of the cosmos. I don't think science will ever arbitrate for reality, but each of our lives, regardless of what you believe, we have choices that we invariably need to make that are not going to fall into the ages of, of known beliefs and customs. There's just a, a calculus to the ethics of human social and physical interaction that is never going to completely observe the custom man's customs.